Hey, what's up guys, I'm on the Test Dust Technical Analysis for July 20th, 2023. So I'm going to be doing another video on um, Tesla chart pattern. So I made a video two days ago saying this Tesla chart pattern scares me and it seems to have played out, right? Um, basically in this video, I explained that I saw a bearish rising wedge in Tesla chart and this is a very um, common pattern. Um, and it seems to have worked out. Now, will it work out um, 100% of the time? Most definitely not. So, um, you know, this is not a bragging video or whatever. Um, I'm just trying to actually get into Tesla position. And, you know, I historically have a very bad reputation with Tesla, um, especially trading Tesla. And, uh, you know, I am trying to be as patient as possible not FOMO into Tesla and get it at the price that I think um, is the best for me, right? And it, it's very likely that um, Tesla could drop even below 240. Um, some people are saying below 235. Um, I personally don't really see that happening um, because, uh, you know, I, I see two um, possible support levels, one at 249 and one at 240, right? Because we have seen um, Tesla hit those levels before. Um, first up was the, uh, around 248, 249, um, was 15 June, 2023, and 22 June, uh, 2023. And then uh, we had a 240, um, so support at 27th June, 2023. Um, obviously, in that video two days ago, I did not pull out that Fibonacci, if I remember correctly. Um, so I'm going to pull it up now and sort of explain how uh, I think Tesla will play out. So I'm going to minimize this arrow, right? Um, and then I think Tesla, it's possible that we consolidate around here. Um, this would be around a 260 level. And obviously, I could be very wrong here. Tesla could, you know... Uh, shoot back up to uh, 300 here and you know I might just miss my entry which is very possible that's happened to me like more than 10 times with Tesla and uh, you know it's very unfortunate but you know shit just happens right uh, so the reason why I think it's possible that it can both shoot up and um, consolidate here is because uh, well the reason it can shoot up is because the uh, RSI and the MACD signifies that it's heavily oversold. And, you know, uh, in order to sort of shoot back up, we're going to have to, we're going to see a recovery in the MACD and the RSI, which is pretty possible. Um, if you look at the past, um, when it was around 240, when it dropped, it immediately shot up, right? So, it's possible that this is a new sort of double bottom that we are seeing at 249. Um, and, you know, if I don't buy in here, it's possible I might just miss out on Tesla forever. Um, so, you know, if that doesn't work, if that, you know, bull thesis doesn't work, um, it's likely it will consolidate here. Um, I, I, I think people are going to trade in and out for a while. Now, if we look at the past, there isn't a lot of evidence of consolidation. You know, Tesla is a highly, highly volatile stock. Um, so I'm not sure if that will happen. Um, if it does continue to drop, um, you know, the next uh, Fibonacci level is 240, which is around where I will try to get my um, order in. So yeah, I'm just going to end it there. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day.